Hunting of polar bears must be banned if species has any chance of survival, expert warns. Here's a summary of the article. Hunting of polar bears for their skins and trophies must be banned or the iconic Arctic species will die out, a conservationist has warned. Nearly 9,000 polar bears were killed by hunters in the Arctic between 2007 and 2016, the most recent figures available. Explaining the allure of the species, he told the Mirror, the polar bear is one of the most exclusive species for trophy hunters to pursue. Polar bear trophy hunting started in Alaska, USA, and Svalbard, Norway, in the 1940s, with only a few killed. Russia banned polar bear hunting in 1957, followed by the USA in 1972 and Norway a year later. Canada's Arctic region is now the only place in the world where hunting polar bears is still legal. It's another reason why trophy hunting is a crime against nature. This post received a score of 9,656, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How on earth is that still allowed? Inuit communities in Canada are still allowed to hunt a small number each season on a first-come first-serve basis. They hunt them for food and skins. The guy in the photo doesn't look like an Inuit. You don't have to be ethnically Inuit to be party to the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement. You can also gain these rights by marrying into a Inuit family. Secondly, many people in Canada who have Aboriginal, First Nations, Métis or Inuit status might not look like the limited, stereotype, that you associate with those people. Someone having, white features doesn't preclude them from being Aboriginal, First Nations, Métis or Inuit. Hello there. I'm a Métis status citizen. And yes this guy is correct. I look as white as an Englishman but I still apply to this as my parents are a part of an Aboriginal band. I'm allowed to hunt wherever I want as long as it's not within 25 kilometers of a city or community. I personally do not hunt, but I do fish, and you can fish wherever you want unless it's a no-fishing area. Which applies to only one lake around my town. Was under the impression the greatest threat to polar bears was habitat destruction and as a result starvation. Still is. This article is about trying to alleviate an additional stressor on their survival chances. This guy spouting off as an anti-hunting activist. Since about 1960 the PB population has increased from about 25,000 to about 40,000. Mainly because hunting was curtailed and limited for a number of decades. Hunting is still tightly controlled, and is being relaxed in certain areas because of danger to humans. Polar bears are roaming the streets of Inuit and roaming the trash dumps of towns, posing danger to the people living there. We see Boogerman Attenborough claiming that polar bears are endangered due to hunting or climate change. Neither is true. FFS people, this man is an expert in photography, not a biologist. This is the equivalent of taking political advice from actors or other such people who speak from the heart, not their brains. I don't think it takes a conservation biologist to draw a parallel between actively killing polar bears and them being endangered. It may not be the greatest threat comparatively but I'm sure hunting doesn't help their dwindling numbers. This is incorrect. Hunting in North America is managed by scientists that monitor the animals' populations and issue tags based on what the population can bear. Ha. While most of these tags are issued to native communities, the science is still there. Thus, legal hunting, at least in North America, is not a cause of extinction. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.